Hello again, everybody. This is the Retro Bear saying good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are, wherever you're moving in the world, whatever you're doing. Uh, thank you very much indeed for the pleasure of your company for a combination video. This is not only just a pickups video, this is also some more, more donations, more donations, more kindness of people's hearts as the uh, space runs out rapidly sooner or later i'm going to start doing these probably sitting on top of games because i've just got so much stuff lying everywhere it's a very much a bone of contention at the moment in the bear household as to what we do about this ridiculously stupid overpowering collection that i have and the fact that i keep adding to it the fact that you cannot see or you probably can see he's just said uh, maybe i put the arm out of the way there he cried, okay. it's this this sort of like big pole yeah just see the top of that bag there stuff pole up behind me been there some of that stuff's been there since last year but anyway uh, what we what we got in the background um this is vigilante on the master system running off an xbox emulator uh, the game where your girlfriend madonna in the original arcade machine uh, had been kidnapped um i'm not sure how that plays i never actually played vigilante it's a game i do have on a, a probably a spectrum or a commodore 64 tape somewhere but i never actually played it i think my local independence does have a copy of this in, but I, I'm scared to ask how much it is because I don't think it's going to be a cheap game, that one. Anyway, uh, so what have we got here? Well, like I said, we've got some donations. So I'm going to do donation, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do donation, and then I'm going to do something else, I'm going to do another donation. But I'm also going to do, uh, some, we've got some pickups in between as well because I, I did actually go out at the weekend, which is Saturday the 22nd of May. Yeah, 22nd? No. Yes, 22nd of May. I can't remember what it is. We've got bank holiday coming up in the weeks. We've got it's sort of all over the place at the moment. Uh, five week, five days, three days off, and then a short week. Whee! And then we're into June. We're nearly halfway through the year. Can you believe it? It doesn't feel like June outside. If you didn't, people not living in the UK have got no idea what I'm talking about, but it's been like October here for the past month. We had the driest April in, on record, and now possibly the coldest and wettest May on record. This is absolutely bonkers. No sign of sunshine coming, possibly until the start of June. And of course we've got the football, the European Football Championships coming up as well. We've had Eurovision just gone. We've got European Football Championship. Le Mans has been moved back until the end of August, which we just found out. Usually it's the middle of June. That's been moved back until the end of August. Um, I think because they had the last Le Mans last year in October or something. So, um, yeah, so lots of exciting things coming up. So, yeah, so let's go with some donors now. Um, I've got some pickups in between. So let's do, let's do the donors because the donors. Um, I've mentioned it a number of times. A few weeks ago, uh, my, my very good friend Feed Me Chicken did this uh, live 24 hour gaming stream with the friends and people who organised it through the Bearded Fishman um, sort of mental health charity, suicide awareness charity, which uh, he got involved with. A lot of us sort of spent some time in the live stream with him, uh, you know, sort of cheering them all on and, and sort of keeping the chat going and making sure people made some donations. Some fantastic amount of money we, we raised. Sorry, we raised, he raised, they raised. I say we, that's not right. They raised for uh, that charity, brilliant stuff. He's done a fantastic video about it. So um, hopefully we may do one of those in the future. Anyway, he got in contact with me before this and said, oh, I've got some uh, Wii games here that you, are you interested in? And I said, yes, absolutely. I'll be thrilled to have those. So he sent me these. And I've forgotten which ones they were until they arrived um, in the post on Saturday when I was out. Um, and I can't believe it. I just can't believe what was in here. Um, absolutely amazing. So, some Wii games. What have we got? We've got Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Now, automatically or immediately, people will be sitting there saying, Well, you don't like Super Smash Brothers. Well, I don't like Super Smash Brothers, but I've also never played it since the um, GameCube version. Now, I don't actually own a copy of this on any other system. So for me, it's an opportunity to try it again. But yeah, it may, may or may not be a thing. I don't know, but I've got to give it a go. So Super Smash Brothers Brawl. This one, I'll put that one at the very end because that one sort of knocks it all out of the bloody park. Uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Which, uh, used to love them. I, I, and again, not a massive fighting game, but I had Mortal Kombat 2 on the Mega Drive, I think it was. Which sells with some stupid sort of money now. 
from what I understand. Um, but I used to have that when I was back at college, years and years ago. So I, I didn't mind doing that. I didn't know any of the special moves. I just thought, like, you know, punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch. That'll, that's what that'll do. Uh, this one you don't see all that often, to be fair. Um, and I've and it's recently cleaned these, not dry them properly. But I, I, I've never seen this one um, in the flesh. So I didn't know it existed. This is Combat uh, of Giants Dinosaur Strike. So I know nothing about this game at all. Um, there's also a Dragons game as well, but I don't think that ever came out on the Wii. So I'm not sure it's meant to be any good or not. Be the last dinosaur standing with a world-facing destruction. Only the fiercest will survive, overcome ferocious opponents and avoid deviating natural disasters to rule the Jurassic world. I think before they came up with the name of that to start the franchise off again. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's any good or not. I don't know, but you don't see it very often. I have seen it go for sort of £10 plus. The other one that is uh, not, uh, what is it called? I thought it's called Dino Strike, but it's not. There's like um, a hunting type game called, I can't remember what it's called, Dino something anyway. And that does go for, for quite silly money in it. But again, I've never seen that one in, in the flesh. Uh, SpongeBob game, this is Creature from the Krusty Krab. Because we all like a bit of SpongeBob. I know I do. Well, I used to anyway, when it first started. There's only me and four other people used to watch it. Play nine. Unusual and bizarre worlds. There we go. Oh, like a bit of SpongeBob. And then the last game, which is, is quite frankly, you're going to sort of say, well, that is just mad to be sent that. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, there is a version of this with the DVD and the, and the nice presentation box. Um, but, yeah. I do have the first one of these. So this now completes the Mario Galaxy um, double bill for the Wii. Well, I mean, I can't, again, I, I forgot. Oh, I mean, I, I, I couldn't even remember what, what these were when they turned up. So, so Feed Me Chicken has sent me this. Oh, what a fun, what a clucking fantastic piece of uh, um, sending stuff to me in the post that was, sir. That was really brilliant. And these will go straight into the collection once I've just decided to. Uh, find out, I could clear their shelves off down the bottom and try and put all this wee stuff in there, <laughs> try and get everything back on the shelves the best I can, I will get it done, but that, that is just absolutely fantastic, so thank you very much indeed Mr FMC, uh, and do, 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 go check his channel out, link in the description below, and do uh, keep an eye on any more events he may be doing so we can you know, rally round and support the charity he's done so much work for, which is fantastic. Right. Uh, yeah, so 22nd of May, I had the distinct pleasure of meeting up with uh, my good friend Retro Kit again. And uh, we did a bit of shopping um, in one of our local town centres at another independent retailer called Old School Gaming in Brawley Hill, uh, run by Richard and his team. And he's had the shop done out soon. We were like there last year sometime, I think it was. I dropped about 50 quid last time I was in there. Uh, and it was last year sometime. And uh, he's had the shop done out since. He's sort of done the sign outside, he's got a thing outside as well, he's, he's had it all sort of floored and looks wonderfully bright and colourful in there and uh, yeah it was nice spending, we probably spent about an hour in there on Saturday, not the world's mass biggest shop, uh, but he's got some tremendously good things in there, lots of consoles and you know retro and modern, big walls of games, got Playstation 1, Dreamcast, Playstation 2, uh, Xbox 360, Playstation 3, Wii, Dreamcast, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, you got them, you know, they're all in there, they're all in there. Even some of the handheld stuff as well. Uh, not as big as Vintage Gamer, but uh, a very, very good selection of stuff in there. And I was able to find some bits and pieces I found, um, and I was able to pick those up, which was great. So uh, this one, I think, lot cost me 42 quid, if I remember correctly. And there's a couple of games which uh, Retro Kit did, uh, he'd arranged to give me, which uh, sort of, I'm going to show you first of all. Um, and he, he bought these off uh, Richard and, and he said here are these are for you which I was like wow thank you very much um, so I've tried to give him a bit of clean up best I can because I don't want to get too much into this because obviously these labels are so uh, what's the word not fra a fragile um, you know the problem with the Atari 2600 label these are exactly the same so I've, I've tried to be very very careful and clean these up best I can I think it's done too bad a job but we be a bit careful about this one so we got here 
Now this is Return of the Jedi, and I think this is the um, Death Star battle game, that's it. And there were three. There was this one, Empire Strikes Back and Jedi Arena. I had the other two when I was a kid, but I never had this one. So, a little bit of damage to the label. You can see a bit of dirt on the front. I'll try to clean it up best I can when it, but it's got Parker Brothers written on the back. There we go. So that was great. Really thrilled with that. I do love a bit of the old 2600 at the moment. I've actually probably got about 10 games for it now, which is quite good, because I had three at one point. And this other one here, um, which I think was part of a trilogy, and I think there was a competition running. You sort of like played each game, and then at the end of the third game or something, there was a code, and you had to sort of send it up. I think the angry video name good that nerd tells that story an awful lot better than I do. Uh, and this is Sword Quest Earthworld. Again, not cracking uh, label, but I... I been a bit liberal with it, not been uh, too... It is, that just looks like it's scuffing actually, it just looks like there's general scuffing on the front of that, particularly up there as well. It's not dirty, it's just scuffing on the label. Um, but it's also got the intact uh, label on top of the cartridge, so you can lay it on the side and then just show you the back of that as well on the top of it there. But yeah, so RetroKit bought those off Richard and he gave them to me as a thank you for uh, some of the stuff I've passed on to him, so that was lovely, thank you very much for those, John. And then while I was in now I bought some uh, other stuff. Uh, we've got uh, Mass System NES. And so I'll show the Mass System one first. One thing you didn't have was a massive selection of Mass System, as we really point because I was a bit on a Master System um, hunt there. I, I sort of downloaded something on Saturday morning which told me how many Mass System games there were in total. And I'm probably about 20% in. I think it was like 269, and I think I got up to, I went up to 55 games. So I'm nearly at 20%, but not all my games are complete boxed with manual. I've only got, um, I think, probably about 10. I've still, got, I've still got loose cartridge games. I've still got some games I've got in box, but I haven't got the manual with them. So I'm a long way off doing it, but I'm thinking, mm, that might be doable. I'm looking at the list. I've got the list in front of me, actually. There's that list there, Mr. Bear. Very kindly printed it off. And we've been sort of, you can see some pen marks. I've been blacking out what I've got and what I haven't and indicating where I need manuals. And um, so I've got, yes, I've got 55 altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, sixteen of those haven't got um, either a box or they've got the box but they haven't got the manual. Slightly more than I thought it was. But there's another one to have to collect, which is complete, which is Alien Thra. Now, I had a demo of this on the Amiga when I first, um, many, many years ago, when it first came out. Oh no, someone's done something with the box. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. There we go, it's a sticky clasp. Said the actress to the bishop. Uh, there we go, so yeah, all complete in there. Nice uh, sort of white label. No um, damage to the label on that one, which is good. And the manual's really good as well, so that's good. Uh, but I think they only had three games all together in there, and I think apart from, I think it was three games, and... Uh, the other two didn't have the manual, so I left those behind. But there we go. If they'd had the hang tabs and the man, uh, had the, hadn't got the hang tabs but had the manual, I still would probably have picked them up, but they hadn't. So there we go. Alien 3 on the Master System, another one for the collection. Lovely. She's going great guns at the moment. So I think that's 40 now I've got boxed with the manuals. And I think I said ages ago, if they got the box, it's good condition, the label's good condition, and they got the manual. I will forego the hang tabs, and I'll be too anal about this. Um, loose Super Nintendo game, because this one brings back some memories for me. A friend of mine had it when it first came out, and um, went around his house and continually, continually thrashed him on this game, despite the fact that I'd never played it before. Um, and this is International Superstar Soccer. It's the first one. There we go. Um, that was good, so pick that one up, which is fine. And then the third game... I'm just trying to think. Which is the third, anyway, the third, I'm just trying to break this down into sort of like sections of uh, stuff I bought. That was it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so. And then this one was a Commodore 64 game. Yeah. He had, had a few. Not made the many 8 bit stuff in there, but he had some. And I distinctly thought, I remember I haven't got this game. I'm pretty sure I have not got this. So I took a punt. Um, and I was lucky that I did get it. I know somebody could have moved it on to afterwards, but I thought, oh, thank God when I go, I thought, thank goodness I've got that game. 
Thank goodness I managed to, f I actually got that one. It's Dizzy Down the Rapids. Hello, Dave. Watching up there. Uh, <laughs> they go well together, don't they? they say, look, look at that, yeah. Um, yeah, Dizzy Down the Rapids. That's, I think it's the only Dizzy game I haven't got for the, hadn't got for the Commodore 64. I do have it now. It's all complete in there. The disc is, uh, the disc, the cassette is good condition. And, uh, it's sort of like a, if you play Tubin, if you remember Tubin, it's sort of like that, but not as good. Uh, but it's the one I hadn't got. So initially, Richard did me then three for 12 quid, which I think is pretty good. I'm probably expecting you know, maybe six on that, four on that, two on that. Then I'd look round and then uh, he had some more. And yeah, there's some sort of stuff out of the way. And then I've got to find some NES stuff. Now I'm, I'm, I'm sort of getting close to about 20 NES carts now. Which is good. Nice nice to find those. And some of these have got the, the uh, slip covers. Some of them haven't. I've got that the wrong way round. Uh, so what i got first of all. This is the game that I was going to get off uh, Swap Shop I think it was. I've mentioned it again. Uh, I, I think somebody put these up. And I think Cooper's World picked up a couple of boxed NES games before I can type the right words um, and this is one of them so I might speak to myself now and this is Defender of the Crown on the NES it's a game I've never played I can't believe that I had an Amiga I've never played Defender of the Crown but it's got again nice condition label at the top so that was good these two uh, well actually that did have a cover on it so I've taken the cover off that one and put them onto these two because I think these games probably deserve this one a bit more um, and these are two absolute classics for the, the, the Nintendo system um, in fact, I've probably got the wrong around, to be fair. Man, I, I, I need to take more care and attention to what I'm doing. Uh, I'll show this one first. Uh, this is, you can see it there, Tailspin. I'll just take it out there. There we go. It's a tailspin. Again, lovely condition. Got the label at the top. If you can't see Tailspin, there it goes. That, always important, the label's intact. Um, that, really, really nice. And in this one, which I think, again, if you have an NES, you've got to have this game. Uh, and this is DuckTales. A woo-woo. Um, with the label on the top intact. Again, a really, really nice condition copy. Again, a game I've never played. Um, but again, I think if you have an, an NES, you have to have some semblance of that sort of game. So we did that, so we got 12 on that, and I think he did me 20 on those three, which again, I think is, is, is fair enough, I think, you know, for, if, I would expect to pay a tenner for DuckTales on its own, uh, at least, so 22 for them three, uh, that's, so 20 for them three, so that's with 32 quid, and then I found this game, and this sort of stunned him a little bit, because, uh, I was walking around and saying, how much is this, how much is this, because, like a lot of these sort of little independent shops, they don't keep the prices on the count uh, on on the product. They sort of try and do you know look and see what they've been selling for, and they try and work out a price for you, give you a good deal, so it still makes it worth your while for, for going in there. And I've got to say, Richard did fantastically well. And, and this one sort of stumped him a little bit. He said, "He said, Cripes, he said, well, the only one I can see on here is sold it's two sold recently for like seventeen or twenty quid." And he's like, "I didn't think it was worth as much as that." And I was like, "Okay." I said, "Well, you know," he said, uh, "I could do it for a tenner for you." And I thought that was fair enough, because you know, he's going based on that. He, he may pay pence for it. I don't know. He might have made himself nine pound fifty profit, possibly. But it is a Commodore sixty four hit squad, and it's one I hadn't got. And again, I take a, no, I don't need to take a punt on this. One. I knew I hadn't got it. And it's Terminator Two Judgment Day. So yeah, I paid a paid a tenner for that. Uh, yeah, I'm trying not to get sucked into hit squads. But if I see a hit squad on the shelf, and this is the thing is, I, I don't see this. You don't see this down uh, vintage gamer because I think Nick doesn't have that. He has like loads of other stuff, but you'd have to sort of really root through and try and find the hit squad games for it. Um, if there were any there, I think he takes all the good ones out and puts them in the cabinet. But this was on the shelf, so yeah, he done me a tenner for that one. So all told, um, forty-two quid for two common sixty-four games and NES game. Sorry, three NES games. Um, Alien 3 and the uh, football game, one, two, three, four, five, six, but six quid each. 
So I think probably even itself out quite, you know, so, you know, the expense of games on guessing DuckTales and Terminator 2, uh, Bubble Dizzy at the wrong end of the market, you take those three out of the equation, I don't know, looks like five quid each, something like that. So, yeah, I, I think that's a great price to pay for that. 40, I'd desperately be trying to spend 50 quid in there. But I kept picking up all the expensive stuff. How much is that? How much do you want for this? Um, and, and sort of say, right, that's a bit too much for me. I'll put that back down. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to spend 50 quid in there, and I said, uh, I said, well, I said a kit. I said, come and help me find something for eight quid. Come on, I'll spend fifty. Come and find me, help me find something. And um, I don't think Richard was playing ball on that one. <laughs> he was like, yeah, have a look round. He says, and I'll, I'll tell you if it's worth eight quid or not. Okay. Uh, he did all right for me after last time. Actually, we played that. I think we got the forty quid last time I was in there, and he found me a couple of boxed NES games I could have for uh, box NES games I could have for a tenner. And he said, you, you ain't going to get that for that. And he said, uh, I said, well, just out of interest, how much is your, your Super Return of the Jedi? I said, you can't have that for eight quid. I said, I don't know, what if eight quid? I said, how much out of interest, how much is it? And it was like 35 quid. Because obviously I've got box Star Wars up there, Super Star Wars. So it'd be nice to have all three um, Super Nintendo box Star Wars games. And then, so that, that, that's what I spent. So 42 quid on that Saturday, which is fine. Um, but again, I, I walked around the, 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 the little town centre that we went to, which is there three charity shops sod all in them uh, I'm beginning to think that, that this now may be the, the norm rather than the exception that I may be spending more time on independent but I don't mind supporting that but the days of bagging a bargain you know around the high streets and charity shops I think they're probably long gone round here and more importantly I'm not the sort of person who's going to start getting up at four o'clock in the morning to beat the lizards to the car boots not going to be doing it so this may be the case where I'm going to be picking up less, spending more, but not doing it as often. Like a lot of things in my life, so I, I, I just don't know. Anyway, you may remember... Oh, I mentioned it again, Swap Shop. I've got to stop doing that. Um, ages ago, remember my good friend Sean of Retro Games Revived? He must do. He must do. The nicest man on YouTube. The most generous man on YouTube. Uh, a man who doesn't know his own popularity. One of, the, one of, the, one of the, the the kindest people I think I've come across in this community, if you pardon the expression. And ages and ages ago, Sean offered me some, probably the first few... I, I, I was Sean's first subscriber, he'll, he will tell you that. I, I was his first subscriber. I was the first person who really sort of gave him a nudge in the right direction on YouTube. And that's his channel, subscribe and gave him a shout out. And he's in the TMB with me, so it, it, it's always nice to know he started from very humble beginnings. Anyway, um, ages ago, Sean sent me some Wii stuff, going back probably about two and a half years, near enough now. I was very, very grateful for, which went into my collection. It was about 15, 20 games. And I got some Commodore 64 stuff, so I knew he had, he would collect that. And I said, look, I'll send you a list. How many of these do you want? Let me know. And I expect him to come back and say, I'll have all of them. He'd come back and said, I'll have three. Right, okay. <laughs> so, I think he was collecting Firebird label at the time, so he, he took the three off me. And then at Christmas, the year after, our, our friend in the corner, your old Retro Bear arrives. That's who the Retro... So you got, you got retro, we got Retro Games revived and Retro Bear arrives. He comes Christmas 2019, I think it was. And then, early this year, we had Swap Shop start, Swap Shop start up. And uh, I was on the first couple of episodes, and I put all these Commodore 64 games out the first week, no interest. Uh, I then put them out second week, no interest. And I think I went on again a few weeks later, the last time I was on there, probably March, April time. And I showed all these Commodore 64 games off, and all of a sudden, Sean's in the chat, and he goes, oh, I'll have all them. So I got in contact with him, I said, well, I offered these two years ago, mate. Two years ago, I said, you want these, you didn't want them. I'll have them now. I said, oh, okay. And I said, well, I'll send them to you, that's no problem at all. And he said, you want anything for them? I said, no, no. And I said, you, you've done enough for me. I said, there you go, have them. So anyway, he, he sort of uh, got the games. I, I must be—I'm so behind with my videos. I'm not sure whether he's shown them off yet or not. Probably has done. Well, may have done. May have done. I don't know. And, and then he sort of said, um, he, he messaged me a couple of three days ago. He said, "Oh, I've got a box to send to you." I was like, "Okay." Um, it's, it's coming out this week, and I thought, "What's he sending me?" I haven't asked for anything. So anyway, this box box arrives. Um, with stuff in it. I'm like, wow. Okay. And a note. Customary note. Good, great handwriting, aren't they? Look at that. Brilliant. Hashtag TNB. 
we may be coming back. Dear Mr. Bear, in appreciation of your kind donation of the C64 games, it's a bit of formal, Mr. Bear. Lord Bear, surely. Um, you sent me recently. Please accept my gift to you in return. Hope you have many hours of fun with it, mate. Retro Games Revived. Now, I've taken that out, and what I've left in there is the gate. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yes, that, that, that's, that Swedish suction machine, mate, has been brilliant so far. Thank you very much indeed for that. And the gaming stuff's been good too. Now, so I always love to get these. I always keep these. And put it over there on top of my Wii games. And some of the other stuff. Lovely. So, I, I mean, I must be honest with you. There's not many times I've opened boxes up and been absolutely flawed. The stuff I got from Jagsy, which I showed last video, the YouTuber of the community gaming king personality thing I was given by Sega Zombie. That's another thing. Um, this one probably, it's hard to say whether this tops a lot of them, I don't know. And I had no idea that Sean was sending it. I had no idea at all. Please believe me, I had no idea. So this is the Super Nintendo Mini. I mean, wow. I mean, that has absolutely side, that absolutely sidelined me. I was like, what the heck? Uh, so I sent him a message. I said, this is, this is way beyond generous. And uh, again, Sean being Sean, just so great. He said, you'll get more use of it than I would. And I know it's gone to the right place. Now I mentioned before, I think this is probably a part now. I think anyone I'm missing is a Neo Geo Mini. Well, I've got the PC Engine Mini, the Mini NES, the Mini Mega Drive, the C64 Mini. I think the only one I'm missing now is a Mini Neo Geo, which I'm not really bothered about, but if I did find it, it'd be great. But yeah, so, so this is it. So we'll do a quick poke around inside. And I just, see what I mean about some people? And, and Sean, Sean, is, Sean is like this. I mean, if you spoke to any of the, you know, your Pete Fight and Nath Retro, Roller Core, Gernaldino players, we'd all say the same thing about it. Sean is by far and away the most generous person that we know. And and he's just so just, just so brilliant with it. So this is the, the console. Just want to try and get it all out and sort of pull it back together again. But got the cables in there, so that's the USB cable to go with it. The HDMI lead in here as well. Did that come with it as standard? I can't remember. It's got all the tags on it as well. Um, and then it's got, the, it's got the control pads, there's two of these in there. So that's everything that should be there as it is. Um, and, and, and there it is. I mean, what, what, what can you say about that other than, no, what can you say about that? I can't, I can't say anything. It puts me in this sort of like, I'm absolutely absolutely flabbergasted by this. Uh, I'm humbled beyond belief. I can't put that back together. I mean, yeah, it, it just it just absolutely stunned me. Sean, um, I've said it before, mate, and I'll say it again. Thank you so much indeed for that. Now, thank you so much indeed for that. That is above and beyond anything that I, I'd, I'd expected. I, I said, don't send me anything. Don't give me anything. I, I, you know, them 64 games, I said, yeah, you know, happen for previous things that you've done for me but but yeah this is this is just great it's absolutely great what a way to finish on the video yeah so if you if you have enjoyed that then um, do let me know i hope you have enjoyed that anyway some great stuff there that means i'm now up to date on all the stuff that i've picked up and been sent to me however however um there are some other things that i am expecting a couple of tiny a couple of small things to come uh, and also, I've done a deal with uh, another tuber as well, which I won't tell you what, what that is until I get older bit, because I need to pay the guy. And um, I must get that sorted out very, very soon. And there's some, some more awesome stuff coming in that as well, so uh, we'll have to see where those go. There might be another pick up, not a donations video soon, if we put it like that way. But that's brilliant. Um, just one thing to finish on, if you have got anything that you want me to sort of shout out community-wise, and there's loads of community challenge videos going around at the moment, there are so many of them. Uh, they are cropping up practically daily. Uh, I can't keep up with them. Uh, I'd love to get involved in more of them, but I just can't sort of get on top of YouTube viewing at the moment. But if you have 
any that you know of or any that you want me to sort of mention in the community videos part of my king of the community uh, sort of uh, run i'm having at the moment the reign of terror uh, do let me know drop me a line here in the comments or i'll stick my i'm going to stick my email address in the below here and then do drop me a line on that one as well if you've got any anything you need community wise sort of mention and shout out anything you're doing charity wise any events coming up you want to publicize i mean i mentioned about gaming markets a couple of videos ago they're probably coming back in the summer um any anything at all that you want me to sort of shout out as part of a community video do let me know and uh, I'll, I'll do my best for you in the meantime pating do that boing and uh, i'm now going to try and put this box back together again somehow and say thank you very much indeed for watching once again a big thank you to feed me chicken a big thank you to richard at old school going in Bradley hill big thank you to retro kit for his time once again and a massive thank you to sean for um that super nintendo mini which he's going to go straight in the collection and will be played with and i shall always remember uh, he gave me that should be some violin music playing or something don't you i will always remember the man who gave me that he was a very generous no, no. thank you very much indeed for watching this is the retro bear saying toodaloo for now take care mind what you're doing stay safe get your second jab if you've not already had it get your first jab if you've not already had it goodness me how much more information do you need stay safe out there people we'll see you again very very soon until then take care bye for now